Today, Lord, as we come to this joyous occasion, we are so thankful for the love of Megan and Mark for each other. And so we pray that today that each one here would know your presence, would know your peace, would know your joy, would know your love. But your special blessing we pray on Mark and Megan. Thank you for this opportunity to witness their marriage. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. I decided to go for a run with a couple of my friends one night and on the boardwalk, I saw Meggie outside of Pete's bar. Let's take a look guys, what happened? Is that your sister? Where? Over there, she's outside of Pete's with some guy. Some guy, who is it? Oh my God, it's that fella Mark says. Oh, I know Mark from Ben. He's a nice fella. I didn't know they hung out. Meggie didn't see or hear me, and I'm glad because I didn't want to ruin her special moment. I was happy to see her smiling and having fun, and that's when it all began. I met Megatron when her and Mark were on their first ever date at a very classy place called Randall's Bar in West Haven, Connecticut. Yeah. In comes Mark glowing with this young girl glowing introduced me and then he goes dude I'm on my first date I'm like, okay I'm keeping an eye on him seeing how things are going and uh, I remember thinking there's already a spark between these two I see it already In our sessions, we talked about this kind of love coming from God. He's the one who will give you the ability and, yes, the strength to love each other when the going gets tough. So as some of you may know, my sister Meggie was sick for a while. I'm so happy that Meggie and my family found the answer to what was going on and found the right surgeon, which ultimately led Meggie to healing. Meggie, you are so strong. And Mark, you were there for Meggie and our family the entire time. Searching for answers there in the toughest moments, checking in with all of us to see how you may help. Mark, thank you, we love you, and we are so happy that you're a part of the family. So remember, love is unconditional. But you knew that. You have been through so much together, so many hard times. But those hard times have helped you to get to know each other to know that you can depend on each other and it strengthen your relationship with each other. Where can I go where you don't hide? Who am I if not seen through your eyes? Love is not jealous or boastful. It's not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. It is discovering what marriage can be at its best. In an endless sky. Mark, do you give this ring as a token and pledge that you will keep this pledge and perform these vows? I do. Do you, Megan, give this ring as a token that you will keep this pledge and perform these vows? I do. May she continue to love him in a very special and deep way. And may this marriage be very fulfilling to her. We pray for Mark, that you would help him to be the husband that you wanted to be, and that his love for her would grow each day, and that as the years go by, he might look back on today and say, I loved her then, but I love her a whole lot more now. I pronounce that they are man and wife, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You may kiss your bride.
it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you for the first time anywhere, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Severino Jr. Mark wants to get a clap going, and I'm going to get it started. So ready? You guys go on my cue. Before Austin Powers was ever a movie, I, I kind of wanted my own mini me. And Mark was that. I groomed him to be the coolest guy around with an exquisite taste in music, movies, the whole nine yards. So for all of his friends and family who love him, you have me to thank for the great guy that he is. But in actuality, he actually became much cooler than I ever will be. Maggie is an extremely fast swimmer and was very well known around the high school. When people ask me questions about her, I was very proud to say that she is my sister. Let's take a look. Hey Mia, is Maggie your sister? She is such a fast swimmer. Mia, you're Maggie's sister, right? <laughs> She's top of the state, right? <laughs> Mia, is, is Maggie getting a full ride scholarship for swimming? That was my life in the hallway all the time in high school. <laughs> Megatron and, and Mark together, um, I say this as humbly as possible. What I love the most about them are their free spirits, both as individuals and as a couple. They march to the beat of their own drum and they always do what they feel is right in their heart. Even if it makes no sense to anyone else, it makes sense to them and that's all that really matters. I don't think it'd be a surprise if anyone said they were gonna go live in a van down by the river. And knowing them, they would thrive in doing it. Maggie and Mark, May you both have a life full of laughs, happiness, and good health. I wish you nothing but a lifetime of beautiful memories. <laughs>